Hey everyone. So continuing with our Databricks CLI series here, in this video I want to go over the libraries command. Now in Databricks you can install libraries onto your clusters and then use those libraries within your notebooks. And so the CLI kind of gives you just a couple of easy ways in which you can manage your libraries across your clusters. And this is actually going to be a bit of a short video because there's not a lot of commands for the libraries. In fact, we can look at the dash H command to get the help of it here. There's only uh, five commands to get statuses, lists, and installed and uninstalled libraries on the cluster. Now to use these, uh, you do need you know, your cluster to be running to install a library. Uh, so the first one, let's look at the list command here. And this is going to list all the libraries across all of your clusters. And so you see here we have a collection of statuses and we get a cluster ID. In fact, I'm going to copy this for future commands. And see so we have one library installed on this cluster in this beautiful beautiful soup, uh, which is a library that we can perform web scraping in. There's another command that is similar to the list called all cluster statuses. Oh, let's see. There you go. And it gives us that same response that we had in the list command. So let's actually uninstall that beautiful soup package first. And so we can do Databricks libraries uninstall. We need to pass in the cluster ID. And then we can either give it a the PyPI package and then say beautiful soup four. And so it requires a restart. So we can go ahead and run this command. Do clusters restart. It helps if you type type in the right commands there. All right, so that happened. But also, instead of just specifying the package ID itself, you can also do the dash dash all, and that will just uninstall all the libraries in that cluster. All right, so now that that cluster is restarted, we can go back to the libraries command and do the list and make sure everything's uninstalled. There you go, so we have a running cluster here, but no installed libraries. So to install, it's going to be similar to the uninstall there. We do install, set the cluster ID, and then we'll specify the PyPI package, and we'll do beautiful soup4. There we go, so we do another list on it. And now we have the beautiful beautiful soup for installed. Now one thing to note that for the install and uninstall, it's not just Python packages. You can do Maven packages for Scala. You can do CRAN packages for R notebooks as well. As well as you can do jar, eggs, and will files if you have those files for custom packages that you probably have made on your own and they're not on the PyPI or Maven repositories. All right, so that's just kind of a quick overview of the libraries command in the Databricks CLI. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you later. Thanks.